What's up you guys? My name is Aubrey, this is HP, and welcome back to the channel. So this week, or in today's episode, we have another van update for you guys. So first and foremost is the elusive van bed that HP is sitting on right here. We have finally finished it, it looks so good. This was HP's brainchild, so he did a really, really good job on this. You can see that it's just two boards cut and then mounted on the framing that we did. HP, do you have anything to say about the bed? I can't wait to sleep on it. This will make it all worth it. So now that the bed is done, the next step of the process is electrical. So we have kind of divided the next kind of big couple of projects between the two of us. HP is in charge of electrical and that's what we're gonna be covering today. So we're gonna go inside the house and we're gonna do inventory of what we've purchased so far for the electrical wiring of the van. So let's get started. So HP and I bought all of our electrical equipment based off of another van builder's build and the website is called Nomad Home. We'll include a link to that down in the description below. But that's where we bought all of our stuff from. Well, we used their links and then we bought it from Amazon. So what we did is we printed off everything that we bought and now we're gonna go through, we're gonna take our inventory to make sure we got everything. Really, we probably should have done this like a month ago because we bought this stuff quite a while ago and for some reason, reason we've been really putting off this task. It's scary. Yeah, it's scary. HP's in charge of electrical and he has really been feeling like this is a daunting task. But now let's take our inventory. and we have everything that we need. Now I'm gonna let HP explain what we got and why we got it because this is his brainchild and I don't know what's going on with the electrical. All right, to start it off, we have two giant AGM batteries. Now these are gonna be the batteries that all of the power from our solar panels will come down and store inside of here. Now, with this in mind, we need ways to connect everything like our sockets, our outlets, all of our phones, chargers, and everything to the van out of this battery. We can't just connect it up to here, so let's move over to here. With all that power flowing down, it's gonna go to this charge controller. Now this charge controller is gonna take all that energy coming from the solar panels and distribute it to the battery evenly. But what happens if we run out of power in our van? Well, I thought of that too. So you have the DC to DC battery charger. So if it ends up to the point where we run out of power from all of our solar, we will be flush out and we can't do anything about it until the solar charges up. But our van is going to be able to charge those batteries that are right behind you. That way we can keep the power going, we can turn on our van and keep on charging all of our stuff and not have to worry about is it gonna have a rainy or a sunny day today. So this is our 2000 watt pure sine wave inverter. This is gonna take all of the electricity that was coming down from either our van or from our solar panel, and it's gonna invert it into AC power with like prong outlets or coffee makers or you know toaster ovens that we wanna plug in and get power from. Something that can just be a USB like we have it plumbed out for. A lot of this other stuff is kind of straightforward, like dimmer switches. We have dimmer switches to be able to dim out two different areas of lights. So we actually have two four packs of lights or two five packs of lights. So, so question, mm -hmm. this is a question coming from Aubrey, go. the camera woman. So are we gonna have the lights go, like have one set of lights for the bed and then another set of lights for the kitchen yep. and then theoretically we could dim one set and not the other? Yeah, exactly. A that. lot of this other stuff is just really thick wiring, wiring that's gonna go to different devices. Uh, and different outlets as well, uh, like our above ceiling fan. And then this is gonna be for like the thick This cables. is like insanely heavy. I know, it's durable, super durable. That's gonna be the one that's gonna route from like our inverter and everything else, so we can get electrocuted. 
And then lastly, a lot of these are just supporting components. Um, the nice part about fuses and breakers, if you guys aren't aware, if you have a lot of power coming from something, you don't want that device to get damaged, and that can happen sometimes. Electricity isn't always perfect or isn't always consistent. So a lot of these are gonna be inline fuses and breakers and breaker bars. So in case we get a surge of electricity somewhere, it'll just pop that breaker, and I'd much rather buy a $2 breaker than you know have to pay for a $200 inverter. Well, that's like 600 or something, I can't remember. And lastly, this is just going to be an isolator. This is just going to make sure that the power from our battery doesn't cross or multiply with the power coming from our solar, and it can shut off one or the other. That way we don't explode ourselves while we're driving or turning on our van. So that's all of the electrical explained. It seems really easy to explain until you get in there and realize everything has a purpose and everything has to be wired a little tiny perfect way. So as I said earlier, we actually bought all this stuff about, it was at least a month ago. It was yeah. about a month ago. Easily. And we didn't do anything with it because we were doing other stuff with the van. So HP has been really nervous about starting the electrical. So HP, do you feel like it's less daunting now that you have this stuff out? Well, not that I have a choice, but yes. Uh, I feel like it looks less daunting. I think it is less daunting for sure. It's kind of one of those things where it's like, man, electricity's never been one of my, you know, easy fortes, but at the end of the day, it's just like any other mechanics. You plug it in and it works, and or you plug it in and it doesn't work and it explodes in your face. Nico's trying to get by you. So as of right now, the electricity component of the van has like by far been the most expensive as aspect. I would say that it's, it's probably been more expensive than all the lumber we've used. Wouldn't you say? Yeah, it's pretty up there. <laughs> the solar panels that we have for the roof of the van, those were like $700. All of this stuff right here was close to 2000 So we're like $2,500, $2,800 into the van electricity. And I have a feeling that we're going to need some other stuff too before it's 100% complete. But I know that this is a different video than what we've done in the past. And I know that this isn't a lot of progress on the surface. But the fact that we're finally getting to the van electricity is a really big deal. So over the next couple of weeks, we're going to be doing a lot of content about the van electricity. The next video will most likely be about the same topic, but about HP installing it into the van. And we wanted to do an outline showing you guys what we bought so that if you guys are wondering what you need for yourselves, you possibly can use this video to point you in the right direction. Now I will include a link down in the description below of what the website that we use to find a lot of this information from. Some of the equipment that we got varies from what he used for his van. And so I will also include a link to our Amazon store, which will show you what we purchased, what equipment we bought for the van. So that could be a good resource for y'all as well. Again, that will be in the description below. But like always, you guys, I hope that you enjoyed this video. If you have any questions that you want specifically answered about the van wiring, make sure to leave a comment down below and HP can address it in one of the videos in the next couple of weeks. But like always, if you have any questions, comments, if you have anything to add, make sure to leave a comment down below. And while you guys are at it, make sure to hit the like button, hit that subscribe button, and hit that notification bell. And I will see you guys in the next video.